Hi there. Have you noticed that you're having trouble hearing things lately? I have. I'm Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic, and I want to talk to you today about diabetes and hearing loss. Yeah, they kind of go together. This is what I've learned. I've learned that there are 34 million diabetics in the USA and 34.5 people who have hearing loss. And a lot of those cross over. If you have diabetes, you are 50% higher risk of having hearing loss and of having it appear earlier than in people that don't have diabetes. It increases if you have other co-conditions, high blood pressure, etc. That makes it even more likely that you may have hearing loss. Studies are showing that hearing loss is gradual and while it diminishes with age, <laughs> okay, it not only diminishes our hearing, but it also diminishes our ability to understand and process speech, to um, process the words and the sentences that the people around us are saying. So what do we do? Our diabetes care and education specialist, yes, there, there's a name for them and they're called DCES. <laughs> they are the ones that need to help us. They can ask us six questions and based on our answers can determine if they need to refer us to an audiologist. How often should you be screened? Well, in a perfect world, you would be screened when you are initially diagnosed with diabetes, so they have a baseline, and then annually, so that if you start to lose hearing, they can catch it and help you quickly. And how do they help you? They do a test that measures your hearing in decibels. And the best way I know to describe that is to say, this is the difference between someone whispering and a jackhammer. Okay, there's a difference in how you would hear those because of the decibels they produce. Treatment. Hearing aids are still 90% what people will have to help them. But hearing aids not only help you to hear again, but they help you to rebuild your ability to process speech. And that's very important. The other benefits of having hearing aids or anything to help with this issue is decreased fatigue. It is tiring to strain all the time to hear things, right? And it also will help, again, uh, your ability to process speech will get better. Um, it lessens your frustration and your depression because it's frustrating when you have to constantly ask someone to turn it up or say it again, right? That's, that's stressful and it leads to a lot of anxiety because you're scared you're going to miss something, especially something important. And it also, taking care of that hearing problem helps you have better blood sugar management, okay? This has been not paid a lot of attention to in the past. Um, and I want to go back, what causes hearing loss in diabetics? Um, when you have elevated glucose in your bloodstream, then that does damage to the small vessels in your body. Okay, that's one of the results of diabetes. And those small vessels in your ear, well, they break down and then it blocks your hearing. That is what is happening. But doctors haven't been paying a lot of attention to that until lately. But now those uh, diabetic um, care and education specialists, okay, they can hear us, they're listening, and that's a really good thing. What are the six questions they're going to ask you? They're going to ask you, do you or your family perceive any change in your hearing? Number two, do you have trouble in the quiet or in the noise, in the whisper or in the jackhammer, right? Do you have, do you know how diabetes can affect hearing? And you do now. <laughs> um, and do you know what to do if you have any of those um, issues? 
yes, you're going to go see your doctor, right? You can start with your endocrinologist, but or your primary care doctor, but get some help. And do you know how to reduce your risk? Yes, manage your blood sugar. That is a great way to manage and control the risk you have. But guys, it's just a fact. Diabetes can lead to hearing loss. So if you're having trouble hearing these days, if you've noticed a change, please go to your doctor, let them ask you the questions, <laughs> tell them about your hearing and get it tested so you can get some help if you need it. This is personal for me because I have lost hearing and I know that I need to have hearing aids and that's okay because I'm going to take care of me and you need to take care of you. Knowledge is power and today I gave you some more. You guys are getting strong. <laughs> you're getting lots of power and I hope you're able to use it. I hope I found you safe today. I hope I found you well. And you know, I hope I found you happy. This is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic. Please share, share, share. Subscribe to my channel. Join my Facebook group. Do all the things so I can support you well. Again, Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic. May God bless and keep you till we connect again. Bye-bye.